this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this episode, I am playing a new mini game with Lee Bear, who is poking out of the, the painting. And I am also going to be playing it with... Oh, I, I saw a glimpse of someone. Um, he he hello? Hello, hello, excuse, excuse me. Where are they? Where are they? They've got to be around here somewhere. I'm also going to be playing with Squishy, who's playing Run Around the Tube of Water, one of Squishy's favourite games to play inside of my house. Uh, Squishy, Squishy, it's the morning. It's the, you can finish your laps now. <laughs> Squishy has been training hard for today's mini game, uh, which is going to be called Shoe Sprint, and so she's uh, been sprinting in her shoes. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are going to begin the day by having our breakfast, and uh, Lee Bear, do you want to, uh, to pick a new room? for us to, to have our breakfast in. Uh, basically, we have our breakfast in a different room each day, uh, just uh, for now. Oh, where, where are we going to? Oh, oh, we're going down here. Ah, I didn't expect this. Are we, are we going to have it in this room? I don't Oh, no. Are we going to have it in the dirt room? <laughs> when I'm digging around my world, I get lots of excess dirt, and I never like just throwing it away. And so I have chests here which are just full of dirt. This is just dirt that I've gathered from just, like, destroying mountains and things. So, right, a... Um, a nice dirty cake. Br good choice of room, Lee. Br brilliant. Uh, yeah, fantastic. There's, well, you, you know we have a kitchen, you know, in, in this house. But, you know, you, you take us here. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, it might have been dirty, uh, dirty, but it still tasted nice. In fact, actually, I think the, the dirt added a, a nice little bit of a extra flavour. Quite a, a nice earthy taste <laughs> to the, the cake, which we don't normally have. Anyway, uh, let's go and uh, head to the uh, the love garden then and uh, announce who I'm adding today. And uh, today I'm adding Gavin. And uh, Gavin is six years old and he made uh, this picture of me out of entirely shells. And he made it at Myrtle Beach. And I think it's amazing the fact that he was able to make it look so much like me. And all he was using was different sizes and shaped uh, shells which I think is a uh, really cool so I want to say thank you very much uh, for for making the uh, the picture or model whatever you want to call it and uh, welcome uh, to my love garden okay Lee we have a new type of race to the doghouse today we are doing the pumpkin race I have not one but two pumpkins here and we need to race to the the doghouse with the pumpkins on our heads it's a it's a pretty simple one today <laughs> so let's go and uh, we go start over here and uh, we have to jump through the uh, the love heart to, to begin and uh, yeah then first one into the doghouse while dressed as a, a pumpkin uh, will be the winner right let's go and uh, plonk this thing on my head and now I can't see very much at all <laughs> let's see how this goes we can begin in three Two, one, go, 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 go. Right, can I get through the love heart? There we go. That's the uh, the toughest bit done first. And now to the doghouse. Oh, no, I ran straight into a wall. I was able to jump through the little tight space through the, the love heart. But then I just ran straight into a wall. Oh, I caught some good time up here. And I fall down. And who's going to win? Oh, no, Lee Bear was just about able to win. Oh, well. Squishy was already here, so I don't know, maybe she won. <laughs> but she didn't have a pumpkin on her head. Right, it looks like Lee Bear's uh, uh, took his off his head, so I'm going to take mine off as well, so I don't look silly. And uh, this means uh, that you get to decide which dog uh, we're going to take with us uh, in today's episode. Uh, so who uh, would you like to bring along with us today? He is going to take Benji with us. And Benji, I think I just saw, was sitting uh, down here in the corner. So Benji, uh, you can come and you can watch us uh, playing the, uh, the shoe sprint game. I would let you play the shoe sprint game, uh, but one, I don't think we've got enough shoes for all of your paws, and two, um, yeah, dogs don't really wear shoes. <laughs> not, in, not in Minecraft anyway, so uh, yeah, the game wouldn't really work. And it's actually probably the most dangerous game I have ever built. There is fire in this game, there are big drops... And there are arrows being fired from walls. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a pretty lethal game, but hopefully the shoes should keep us safe. And I'm not joking about that. The shoes are the thing that I'm hoping are going to be able to, to keep ourselves safe. And that is a big tower, which we are going to be jumping off later. Right. This is what the shoe sprint game looks like. Um, it looks a little bit weird, but it uh, should be fine. Basically, the way it works is we're going to start off by wearing shoes that have fire protection on. And we need to run through this maze of fire. And then at the end, we get some shoes uh, that have a uh, projectile protection on. And uh, we then run through this maze where these dispensers are going to be firing arrows at us, just like this. Let me demonstrate. Ta-da! Like that. <laughs> and then we get some shoes which are around about here. 
uh, which have um, feather falling on. We then need to climb up this big tower and jump off and land inside of this target here. And uh, whoever can do that quickest uh, is going to, to be the, the winner. And yep, the rules are we are not allowed any armor. We're not allowed any extra protection apart from the shoes on our feet. So uh, looks like uh, Squishy. Looks like you volunteered to go first. Didn't you volunteer? That's right. <laughs> and uh, it's actually very lucky for you. Because you get to wear my stampy style shoes. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the the shoes from my feet, and uh, let me go and uh, grab these in my hand. And uh, these are gonna be the the shoes you're gonna be able to to start off uh, wearing uh, because these kind of had a uh, fire protection on them anyway. Um, yeah, it means that uh, they are perfect for the the game. So uh, you can see that this is stone because it's kind of like the iron, and then uh, the next shoes are, are gold. So this is supposed to be gold colored. Um, yeah, I couldn't actually build it out of gold or iron. I didn't have enough. <laughs> and then that's supposed to be the the leather. And uh, so so yeah, Squishy, are you uh, are you ready to begin the uh, the shoe sprint? You're setting the the starting time uh, that we all need uh, to to be. So you can begin in three, two. One, go, 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 go. Right, Squishy has started and so has the, the timer. So there's actually uh, no way to avoid the fire. Uh, you are going to, to get burnt, uh, but you shouldn't get too hurt uh, just because uh, she's wearing the uh, the fire protection boots. And oh, it looks like she's uh, not jumping. Uh, she's deciding to sprint through. That means she's probably getting more hurt, uh, but it does mean uh, that she um, is probably going faster. And so uh, she's now stuck at this side. You need to go back through the, the maze, Squishy, and uh, you need to go back out. Uh, the way you came in. I think she's waiting here for a, a little bit uh, to wait for her heart uh, to, to go up uh, a little bit higher uh, so that way she can uh, carry on uh, making her way uh, through to the, the start of the maze. Is she going to be able to make it all the way to the end? You want to be careful. If you die during the game, you just need to carry on uh, where you left off. So say if you were halfway through the, the fire maze, uh, you then uh, just need to uh, to go and carry on uh, from where you left off. So there we go. Looks like she was able to get through the fire maze. Uh, she's now on the, the arrow maze. You can see she's a little bit scared about going in. <laughs> this one's much more about timing. Uh, you can time it where you don't get hit by very many arrows. You can kind of wait in this little gap in the, the middle here, uh, like Squishy's doing, and then wait for your hearts to go up for a little bit, and then run uh, just after an arrow gets fired. And uh, she's on to the, the final section. Uh, but even though she's very close to the end, uh, she does have to make it the entire way back out again so it looks like uh, very smartly uh, she decided uh, to wait there for a little bit and uh, wait for her heart uh, to go up a, a little bit higher uh, before uh, going to, to go and try and get the shoes so she now has uh, the final shoes uh, all she needs to do is get back out of the maze and climb up the tower and the uh, the feather uh, protection uh, shoes the feather falling shoes sorry uh, should prote protect her as she goes and jumps and lands in the the target but first uh, she needs to get out the maze uh, she was actually doing a pretty good job there of uh, not getting hit very much but oh no, she got hit twice very fast and hit again. Is she going to be able to make it out without dying? Oh, look, she's waiting. She's waiting just before the final stretch. She only has one more arrow uh, to get past and then she's going to be out. Oh, she does get hit, but she was able to survive and she's got a, a very good time so far. Just over two minutes uh, to get through the uh, the first two mazes is very good. And luckily she remembered uh, to put on the, the next pair of shoes as well. And now she begins the very big climb to the top of the tower. You want to make sure when you're dro uh, dropping, uh, you have full hearts uh, because, yeah, otherwise uh, you might land in the target, but you won't survive. And that means, uh, sadly, you have to do it again. <laughs> and so she wants to make sure her hearts are full and she's at the top now. Uh, she's completely covered in arrows. She's looking down. She also needs to make sure she lands in the target. She looks a little bit scared up there. <laughs> Ducks are supposed to be able to fly, aren't they? Just flap your wings as you drop down and you'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> Hello, Squishy. Hello. Come on, you're against the clock here, Squishy. You can't put it off for too long. Just make sure you do uh, land in the, uh, the middle of the target. Otherwise, you're going to be going back up to do it again. And she's done it. And she was able to survive. Yay. So we need to, to stop the clock there. That was two minutes and 59 seconds she was able to do it in just under three minutes. And that was a, uh, a very good time. So let me go and uh, put down a, a sign here for Squishy. Uh, two minutes and 59 seconds. A very, uh, very good job there by Squishy. So two, uh, five, nine. She has certainly uh, set a, a difficult score uh, for me and uh, Lee uh, to, to beat. And so now uh, we need to go and reset all of the uh, the shoes. You want to, to throw me all of the uh, the shoes, Squishy? And I can go and reset them. So, uh, Lee Bear, you need those ones. They're the ones you start off with. You start off with the uh, the fire protection ones. And then in this maze, uh, you're going to be able to uh, to get the projectile protection. And in the final maze, uh, you get the, the fire falling ones. And oh, I've just... 
I've just realized I've kind of got myself a little bit stuck in the, the maze here. I didn't really <laughs> plan a, a way to be able to get back out. If I guess if I just piled this block up, I can uh, destroy it again will be the, <laughs> the other way to do it. And uh, is there another item frame that someone's got on them to, to put in the, the final maze at all? Um, oh, it might have been, I don't know if it was burnt or if it's still left down in here somewhere, maybe? Is it down here? Aha! The item frame is still on the wall. That is handy. I can just go and place it back in like that. Right then, Lee Bear. Are you ready? Oh, look, there's cake. Nom, 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 nom. Sorry, I got distracted. Are you ready, Lee Bear? <laughs> Do you think you're going to be able to beat Squashy's time? Uh, yes, 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 he does. Right, let's uh, find out and see. We will begin in three, two, one, go, 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 go. The time has started, Lee. You need to run as fast as you can. And look, he is absolutely charging off. You see, Squashy decided not to jump. She just sprinted through. It looks like Lee Bear's trying to, to jump over as many as he can uh, to try and minimize uh, the amount of damage uh, that is uh, being done to him. And there you go. He got the, the piece of wood and the, the shoes. Oh, no, I got the shoes. Let's go, Lee, Lee Bear. I got the, the shoes here. Wait, let me throw them down. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, that was my fault. I was standing a little bit too close. Uh, it's okay, though, because it gives uh, a little bit of time uh, for his uh, heart to uh, uh, to go back up. Uh, so he should be, uh, uh, yeah, he shouldn't have uh, lost too much time from uh, from me standing too close. And look at him. He's not stopped at all. I have no idea uh, how healthy he's feeling. But if he died now, that would have been bad. There we go. He made that through in a record time. That was even quicker uh, than Squashy was able to do. So now I'm going to go and uh, switch the uh, the lever and uh, start all of the, the arrows firing. And uh, Lee Ben needs to go and try and make his way uh, through the the arrow maze there's probably uh, a little bit more strategy uh, to this maze because you've got to uh, worry about the the timing uh, the fire maze is all just about speed 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 as fast as you can go uh, is the better and here we go look at that Lee Bear was able to dodge two arrows there and then stayed right in the middle oh he didn't dodge that one <laughs> right in the uh, the top of his head there <laughs> that looks um and that looks uh, a little bit painful. I don't know. I don't know how much his shoes are protecting his head there, but <laughs> he seems to be. He seems to be doing okay. Looks like he's uh, uh, waiting for it a little bit, uh, trying to get good timing uh, to try and dodge the uh, the rest of the arrows. Oh no, he got hit. Because the problem is when you get hit by the arrows, not only does it hurt you, uh, but it also slows you down, which is something uh, that you need to worry about. And it is getting dark, so we do want to be uh, careful that no googlies try and uh, uh, try and uh, ambush our game here. It looks like Lee Bear must have been really hurt uh, because he's waiting here for, for quite a long time uh, before doing the final run. And look at that! He was able to dodge more arrows. He's only got one more stretch to do and then he's going to be out uh, of, the, uh, of the arrow maze. Oh, it looks like he was getting hit. He was getting hit when he was waiting uh, in that little tunnel there. But there we go. He was able to make it out the other side and uh, now uh, he's climbing up to the, the top of the tower. It looks like he changed his shoes already. I don't know whether he changed them too early and uh, changed them while he was inside of that maze uh, because then he wouldn't be uh, getting the the protection from the the shoes but i guess uh, he can do uh, whatever he wants it's uh, up to his strategy and uh, now he should be uh, almost making his way uh, to the the very top of the tower uh, but it looks like he's not going to jump quite yet uh, because he's going to wait uh, to get a, a little bit more healthy <laughs> and uh, you can just see that one big arrow sticking out uh, of the uh, the top of his head looks uh, uh, a little bit silly there <laughs> looks like he's like a little antenna at the uh, the top of the the tower let me just make sure there's no googlies oh there's a cake he threw a cake down for me. That was a that was very nice of you, Lee Bear. And the time between Lee and Squashy is really, really close. We don't know uh, who is going to to be able to win. Uh, it's getting so close. There's only a few seconds uh, until uh, until Lee Bear's going to be over Squashy's time. And look at that! There was one second difference. He did it in two minutes and fifty eight seconds. Lee Bear beat Squashy by one second. That is absolutely unbelievable. One second in it. It looks like Squashy and Lee Bear both did really, really well. So for me to win, uh, I'm going to have to try and somehow uh, do even better than that. So let me go and uh, make a, a sign here quickly uh, so I can put down Lee Bear's score. Well, I'm going to go and uh, make a little crafting table uh, because I forgot to make them before the video. There we go. Uh, I can now put down Lee Bear's time here of 2 minutes and 58 seconds. I can't believe there was only one second uh, between it. Uh, so let's go and do uh, 258 there. So, so far, uh, Lee Bear's in the lead, but I still uh, have my go to do, and I'm going to do that uh, in the uh, in the morning. Uh, so, yeah, we can all go to, to bed quickly first now, and uh, in the morning, I am going to go and have my run uh, trying to, to get through the uh, the maze as fast as I can. So, uh, Lee, uh, do you want to go and, uh, if you throw me my, my stampy style shoes back, and if you go and uh, reset all of the uh, the other shoes for me, uh, then I'll be ready to, to begin my run. Oh, no, look at my shoes. They've all been damaged. They've all been hurt by everyone wearing them. Is that... 
Is there is there bear hair and feathers in them? Oh, this is this is no good. We might have to, to go to the, the clean machine after this and clean my shoes up. <laughs> I don't normally lend other people my shoes. All right, then. Let me just go and uh, make sure that all the, the shoes are back in place. Oh, there's no shoes in that one yet. I think he's just putting the, the shoes uh, back in uh, in here. Uh, if he puts puts down the uh, the item frame and put the shoes in them. Uh, so in the, the first maze, uh, there needs to be the, the gold shoes. And in the, the second maze, uh, needs to be the, the leather shoes. So it looks like those shoes are in place. Are these shoes in here? Yep, they sure are. So we should be uh, ready to ready to go. So... I'm just going to go and have myself a, a little bit of a cake for, for courage here. <laughs> and I also want to grab some, some more food. I've got some bread here uh, so I can keep my, my hunger up so I can hopefully uh, stay safe. Right, so it looks like there's no one else to, to count me down, so I'm going to do it myself. Stampy Cat, you can begin in three, two, one, go, go, go. So the timer has started, and now I need to go and try and run through as fast as I can. So I'm just going to keep uh, running and sprinting and jumping uh, to try and get to the, the end as fast as I can. And then I think I'm going to wait there for a little bit. Uh, just to, to get my heart up, because I want to make sure I'm as healthy as possible uh, when I go and uh, try and make my way through the, the bow and arrow maze. So let me go and grab these shoes, uh, being very careful not to, to burn them in the, the fire. <laughs> and I'm going to wait here just for a, a little bit, uh, just so my uh, hearts can go up a, a tiny bit. Right, so that way I'm going to be hopefully uh, healthier when I'm going through the uh, the next maze. Right, I'm going to wait for one more heart to, to go up, I think. And then I am going to go. Right, let's go back through, hopefully as fast as I came through. I, I think I'm doing this one slower, right, but hopefully I'm staying a little bit healthier. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I got quite, uh, I'm getting quite badly burned. There's only one little block of fire here, but it's almost impossible uh, to completely jump over them uh, without getting hurt. Right, let's go and eat a little bit more of this cake. And uh, I am now ready to, to go into the, the next maze. So I'm going to go and put on the, uh, the protection shoes uh, for now, which uh, should help me out a little bit more. I also need... Uh, to pull the uh, the lever and so then that way uh, the arrows are going to begin getting fired so i think once again i'm going to rather than rushing through i'm going to wait here for a little bit to, to try and stay safe and allow my my health uh, to go up a little bit higher uh, because yeah i do not want to, to get hurt too much while i'm running in there this should uh, be okay uh, so i'm now going to run in actually i want to time it there we go an arrow just fired let me try and get past oh i got hit hopefully i won't get hit again there we go i was able to to dodge that one oh, look i always jumped over that one then the one behind me pushed me forward oh, look i jumped over that one as well i did really good there i was very fast uh, getting through to the the other side and oh i think the uh, the shoes landed up there can i have my my shoes back please there we go <laughs> squishy threw my uh, my shoes back down and uh, now i need to try and run through and once again i'm going to try and time it well can i get past this one? Oh no that one hit me right in the face okay this is dangerous now i am very hurt i do not want to be the only person uh, to to die in this game and uh, i have got the right shoes on yeah i do don't i uh, so let's wait here just for a little bit uh, just for for safety time i think i still do just about uh, have time to to be able to win and hello squishy hello <laughs> right i think i'm gonna have to go i can't wait here any longer if i want uh, to be able uh, to beat lee bear's time so let's just keep running keep running don't look back don't look back keep running ow, ow ow i'm really hurt now i'm really hurt now only got two hearts only got two hearts and there we go i was able to to make it outside okay though so now it's time for the the big climb uh, of the uh, the ladder so let's make sure i switch my my shoes ready and i can now go and climb up but the times are really 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 close now but i can't jump off straight away because i'm just too weak because if i fall and land in the target uh, but if I uh, if I die rather than uh, landing safely, uh, then I do not win the game. So I am gonna have to probably wait up here for a little bit and uh, and uh, yeah, wait to get a little bit healthier. And um, it looks like it's a lot higher up from up here. It didn't look so bad from down here, but now I'm up here and looking down, it's um it's a little bit scary from all the the way up here. I don't I don't really like it. Um, okay, let's go and uh, have myself a little bit more bread uh, to make me a little bit more healthy. And you know what? I think I'll be fine. I think I could survive. I've only got two hearts missing. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to take a leap of faith and jump down and... <gasps> Yay! I was absolutely fine. But uh, sadly, uh, my time wasn't as good as anyone else's. Uh, it was about three minutes and uh, I think about 22 seconds I was able to, to do it in. Uh, so it was the, the worst time. But you know what? I don't care because I still had lots of uh, uh, good fun anyway. So let's go and put down my time anyway. Uh, I wasn't actually uh, exactly sure what time it was. It was about, it was about 3.21. The time doesn't matter too much uh, seen as it was the, uh, the slowest time compared to, to everyone else. And so this means that in last place uh, was me, uh, Stampy Cat. In second place, only just uh, was Squashy. 
But our winner and the employee of the month for the shoe for you shoe shop is Liba. Well done. So uh, let's go and uh, very quickly uh, go and head over to the uh, the shoe for you uh, shoe shop. We can stop all of these arrows firing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's go and uh, put up the uh, the sign uh, just to mark this uh, special occasion for you, Liba. Luckily. Uh, the shoe shop is uh, right here. Uh, let's go and uh, head inside. And uh, Lieber, I'll let you uh, put up the uh, the sign wherever you want uh, inside of our, our shoe shop here. There we go. Uh, a very proud moment for Lieber being the uh, the employee of the uh, the month uh, at my uh, my newest shop. Uh, but I'm just a little bit sad about what happened to my my poor Stampy style boots. Oh, poor Stampy style boots. I might have to I might have to, to get some new ones. If only there was a place in my lovely world for me to get new shoes. Oh well. <laughs> uh, anyway. That is uh, about the uh, the end of this episode here. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed seeing us all playing my shoe sprint mini game. In my next episode, I'm going to be heading back over to my my Funland, uh, where we're going to be uh, beginning building a brand new mini game. So make sure uh, you check out that episode uh, to find out what it is we're going to be building. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all uh, very much for watching, and I will see you all later. <laughs>